from Anshe Svar Beth El Emeth Congregation. It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to our discussion of Parashat Para, the four step program. If we look in the four parshiot in which we find ourselves, the four special Torah readings prior to Purim, prior to Pesach, of which this coming week, Parashat Para, is the third, the Sfat Emet, the great Ger Rebbe, identifies four steps that are exemplary of these four parshiot. What are the four steps? He says that first we had Parshat Shkalim. We had the parsha that dealt with the idea of giving, that a Jew should, should give. And that, he says, is the spirit of nidivut, the spirit of I want to do, I want to give. That's the first step. The first step is desire, the ta'ava, the desire to do the right thing. The second step was wipe out the memory of Amalek. The second was to wipe out things that are bad, negative character traits, things in us that are like Amalek. It didn't wipe out those temptations that are similar to the, the sinister character of Amalek. You can't just desire to do good. You have to also stay away from the bad. Third week, you could describe it as perhaps the Sreifata Para, the, the burning of the red heifer. The third week, we read about the, the red heifer ashes that purify a person, that make a person prepare to purify themselves from the contact with the dead, prepared to bring the paschal sacrifice, prepared to come in contact with that which is holy. And maybe it alludes to the idea of that which is, that which uh, must be burnt, with that which, be, which must be done away with. And that's the idea of the, of the third step, the para, to burn that which is bad. Or the idea that the third step is the idea of bitul, that just as the para, the, the, the cow actually must be burnt to a crisp, and then the ashes become the red heifer ashes, which purify the individual. So too, there's a symbol there that the human being has to sort of bring ourselves back down to zero before we can build ourselves back up. We have to appreciate what's wrong with us. We have to recognize that maybe we, we hit rock bottom before we can build ourselves back up again. And that's the idea of Parshat Para, before we can make it chadshut, before we can reach the fourth stage, the stage of renewing ourselves, renewal. Before renewal, you need to knock yourself down. You need to recognize, take a deep look, a hard look at what you're all about. And sometimes we need to nullify ourselves, to bring ourselves down to nothing, to build, build ourselves back up to something. These four steps, step of appreciation, a spirit of, I want to do better. This, the number two, the step of, I don't want to do the wrong thing. Number three, the step of, I have to take a hard look at myself and look at what, what I've been doing and knock myself down so I can only, for the purpose, building myself up again. Finally, then I can have the step of renewal, making myself a new person. These four steps are reflected, says the Shemi Shmuel, a later follower, in the footsteps of the Svaz Emes, Zachachav Rebbe, who said that this is reflected in the architecture of the Beit HaMikdash. First, you pass through the, the outside altar. Th that is the Choshet. The Choshet has to do with desire, says Rashi. There's, you have to build up the desire to bring an offering, to bring a sacrifice, to do something good. Second step is that we then need to approach the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, the altar, and actually cleanse ourselves of our various sins. And then, we eventually, we can come closer to the holy, holy places, the holy of holies, in the end, the to connect with the Torah itself in the holy of holies. Rabbi Yaakov Emden lays out for us that it, the sitter also lays out four steps. First, we're in the outer sanctuary, developing our desire. Then we come uh, closer to the altar, and we have to bring our sacrifice and cleanse ourselves. Then, only then, can we get to the inner sanctuary where we begin to, to renew ourselves, and then finally, the Holy of Holies, the final renewal. These are, these are also the four steps, says the Svas Emes, the four steps of Elijah. Elijah saw four images from God. He saw an image of, of wind. That's the spirit 
spirit a person has to have that I want to do better. Then he saw a loud noise. This is a war, the noisy war which we must make sometimes with evil. Then was the ash, the fire. You have to connect with Torah. You can't just you can't just just destroy yourself. You have to build yourself up with Torah as we recognize all of our problems, we build ourselves back up with the Torah. That's the fire. And finally, there was a small, soft, still voice. That's the voice of the Torah. That's the Holy of Holies. That's the final goal. That's the Pesach. That's what we want to get to. The Hitzchadshut, the renewal, which comes with our connection with Torah, with our connection with the ultimate connection with God. But let's look at the third step, that which is this, this coming week, the Parshat Para. What does that mean, that bitul, that somehow this week we're like the ashes, the red heifer, the red cow, became ashes, became nothing, and then we renew ourselves. What does that mean? So the Svasema says we have to bring ourselves back to a situation before the sin. We have to sort of, sort of take ourselves back to an earlier period of, of, of Jewish history, a period before the sin of the golden calf. Uh, like in, in our parsha, we start off the parsha as if, as if there was no golden calf. And then, only then, we learn about the terrible sin of the golden calf in Parshat Kitisa. The, the para has different elements. When they make that burning of the cow, they throw in the, the cow, fire, and the wood of it. Eitz era is a strong tree, because we need something, the power of Torah. And they also, they also have the azo of a little hyssop, some of the small, a small plant, because we have to recognize that we're also small. We have to have achna'a. We have to lower ourselves down. So the Sfasema says, yes, we want to knock ourselves down and build ourselves up. Some Jewish philosophers debated, should you, should you focus on how great the human being is, or should we focus on how small we are? And here there's a dialectic. The Parshas Parah represents both the Eitz Erez, the strength of, 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 a, of a cedar tree, that indeed we, 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 we can reach the power of Torah. On the other hand, it represents the smallness of the, of the, of the hyssop, of the azov, and water. You eventually take these ashes and put them in water. Water represents Torah, and water represents lowliness. Water always flows to the lowest point, says the Gemara. And therefore, together with knocking ourselves down like water, but building ourselves up like the water of Torah, together we can go through these steps and eventually reach the final parsha, hitchachut, achorz lachem, to make that hitchachut, that renewal of the human being. Perhaps these four steps re- reflect four steps of teshuva as follows. First, we have to decide we want to go back to God, the, de- the decision to do better. The second thing is, you say, I will not go back to that, that sin again. I don't want to go back to Amalek, to the bad. Third step, as I say that I'm not the same person anymore. I'm a new person. I'm not the same person anymore, says the Rambam. And finally, the last step is to accept something new for the future. That the, to the renewal that in the future, I'm going to really renew myself and I'm going to do something new and better in the future. That's the Yitchachut. That's Pesach. And in our parsha this week, that's Shabbos. Shabbos, we're able to go back to the ultimate place place of not only of purity, which is this week's Parsha, which is this, this special reading of Para, but also what we read about in the Parsha about Shabbos, that's not just Tahara, purification, but also holiness. We don't want to just be cleansed. We want to get somewhere. We want to go to Kedusha. We want to a positive holiness. And that's called Kedusha, holiness. So there's Tahara and there's Kedusha, says the Svasemis. There's, there's purification from the negative, but then there's ultimately Kedusha, and actually positive power and energy force of Kedusha. That's the ultimate goal. Shabbos is the ultimate goal. Pesach is the ultimate goal where, where we become an Am Kadosh, people who are holy. There is a positive goal at the end of the tunnel. These are the four steps. And if we can reach those four steps, we'll be ready indeed for Pesach. Thanks for joining us here at the Anshay Sfarad Bethel Ames congregation here for a discussion of the four steps. Join us each week for a discussion of the Parsha or the holidays. Also, we have videos on various holidays and various Purim fun videos as well. You can see them on our website, Asby Memphis, as well. 
Thanks to Jason Lefkowitz for his technical assistance. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. To learn more, visit asb.org.